rich. That's what it is. That's a problem. When you're that rich, you feel like you can get away with anything. Okay, you want a senator? So you go and you buy one and keep the change. She's got her United States senator. She's got the family falling all over her. And then she's got her house where she can play with her little dolls. Exactly. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Own it all, Woodard. You can do anything, but you're not gonna. Ah! Oh! E? Oh. Roger, I think this is gonna be the most awful day of my life. Uh, well, if that's all it is. Roger. What? She is just the most selfish person. I mean, she's using them, and I don't know why Maeve and Johnny are letting little John go away with her. Who? Ray Woodard. Did I wake you up? Were you asleep? <sighs> no. See, the problem was you got back so late last night, so I couldn't talk to you then. What time did you get back? Oh, around four. See, I was having these awful dreams because there was just nobody that I could talk to at all. Was, was somebody sick? Oh, it was a three-car crash. I had the one guy on the table for about five hours, but I, I think he's going to make it. That's good. See, I just worked myself up into this awful state because there's just no one to talk to. Want some eggs? No, thank you. But I think, I think a small pot of coffee is certainly in order this morning. Roger, you don't do that. I beg your pardon? Don't be disloyal to me, please. I can't stand it. Not today, okay? Look, I have to tell you, in spite of the potentially calamitous effect of tea in the world market, that it is necessary just this one morning for Roger to have a good stiff jolt of caffeine. I got a great idea. How about two caffeine tablets with your tea? Look, Roger, I'm not going to touch the coffee pot. I mean, if you want to, you go ahead. I didn't even buy coffee, as a matter of fact, so... I'll put an extra teaspoonful of tea in your coffee pot. You know, Delia, I think it may be time for you to diversify. Roger, tea is doing just fine. Yesterday, trading was very, very active. Well, obviously, lots of things were very active yesterday. Now, what's this about Ray? She's using little John. Using him? How? Huh. She's using him to get at Frank somehow, some way out. Well, what makes you think so? Because I went over to Ryan's yesterday just to check in. I want to show him my coat. <laughs> so Ray comes in. She says Frank is very depressed and he needs um, cheering up. So she wants to take little John out in an open air car while they go campaigning through dirty streets and germful crowds. Now, I don't know why Maeve and Johnny even let her do that. Well, why not? I mean, his father was, was with him too, wasn't he? Yeah, but you know, Frank, he's waving and, you know, he's shaking hands with everybody. I mean, little John could fall out of the car. The car would be hours before anybody realized it. Did he? Did he what? Fall out of the car. Oh, my, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should call it, maybe find out. Delia, just stop it. If anything happened to little John, Maeve would call you. Okay, sure. I know so. Want to know what else happened yesterday? You know what she said to me? What? She said to me that little John and her are just real good friends. She's been babysitting for her, uh, for him over at her penthouse. I can just see it now, uh, her standing there in a thousand dollar dress with her fur coats, 22 fur coats just lined up, dishing out peanut butter. Can you picture that? <laughs> just barely. Look, I'm gonna stop her. I don't know what Maeve and Johnny are thinking of, but, um, I'm his mother, and I think I count for something. Did you discuss this with Maeve and Johnny? No. I well, should think that would be your first priority. Roger, you know what I would really like? What? I would like... Little John to, to come here, and I'd like him to live with us. I want custody of my son. So I know Maeve and Johnny have custody of him, but that's just until Frank or myself can offer him a good home. But now I know I can, because I'm married, and we're rich, and, and I'm not crazy anymore. I'm real happy. So couldn't he come back and live with us? Hmm. What's the matter, Roger? I mean, you said it would be OK. Isn't it OK? I, I think that uh, little John is very charming, and I have no reservations about his coming to us, provided that's... Well, that you're certain that that's what you want. It is, I know it. All right, then, can I make a suggestion? Yeah, I think so. Now, since you haven't spent any significant time with little John the last few months, why, why don't you arrange to have an afternoon with him before you commit yourself to a, to a life of motherhood? Okay, I'm gonna go over to Ryan's today. I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna pick him up after school. 
subject. Good morning, Mr. Ryan. Hey, Patrick. <laughs> How are you? What's the chances of uh, getting some breakfast in there? Well, by some wonderful coincidence, your sister Siobhan came down to the kitchen not two minutes ago. If you play your cards right, you come up with some bacon and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, top of the morning to you, Mrs. Woodard. Oh, and to you too, Mr. Ryan. I need your help. I want to talk to you about little John. I'm looking for some coffee cake, or seed cake, you know, plain cake, anything sweet. Well, why are you looking in the fridge? Because there isn't anything in the icebox. Well, try the oven, Sherlock. It's hot. Hot coffee cake? I was so overwhelmed by the opportunity to cook breakfast for you, my dearest brother, that and I have your entire attention, full and undivided, focused on me, that when you went upstairs to talk to little John, mm -hmm. I took your aging father's favorite coffee cake out of the freezer so you could eat the whole thing hot with butter. Oh, Siobhan, the things they say about you are not true. Won't get any argument out of me. Tell that to Maeve. Tell that to Mary. How was it with, uh, with you and them? Mother has made her feelings very clear to me about my having anything further to do with the campaign. But when Frank put me working in his office with Georgia, there was no way for her to take that back. So things are distant between us. Pleasant, but a shade formal. And uh, what about Mare? I haven't seen her, so I gather that's the way she wants it. Siobhan, she's just busy. Mm, sure. Ask me about Georgia. How are things with Georgia? Great! I'm so glad you asked. I'm mad about her. And a little scared, too, of course. I have bad dreams that I've been misfiled in a cabinet and Georgia's the only one who knows where I am. Please. <laughs> Nancy Feldman seems like a nice girl. Yes, I suppose she is. Cream? No. Uh, what else have you been up to? Wes Leonard, columnist. The one with you on primary night? Yeah, that's right. I've had dinner with him since. And he keeps calling me up to tell me really important things like the temperature in the Peruvian Andes. In fact, he reminds me a little bit of you. Oh. Ah, incest! <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> no, seriously, he does, though. He's funny and he's sensitive to other people's moods and elusive. I am not elusive. You know I'm completely accessible to you. Then why are you dodging when I ask you about Nancy Feldman? Well, what if I don't want to talk about Nancy Feldman? Then I would say you're being elusive because she sure wants to talk about you. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Last night, late at the office, she told me all the reasons why you two can't be serious about each other. And I listened. She talked. I listened some more. And I think that she's in love with you. Well, you're wrong. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. My Siobhan of infinite wisdom and knowledge. In the beginning, uh, given, well, given my state of mind about faith, uh, I could have talked myself into falling in love with Nancy, but she made it very clear that our backgrounds presented insurmountable problems, and that was that. Well, do you feel that the problems presented by your no. backgrounds are, are, there's no way they can be no, solved? No, I don't think there's any such thing, but does that matter? Nancy believes that we couldn't get around this Jewish Catholic business. And if she believes it, then it's, it's so. Judging by the way she was talking last night, I'd say that she's trying to convince Siobhan, herself. Siobhan, come on. I don't think you know what look, you're talking about. Look, look, 
Have I ever been wrong about somebody being interested in you? I know what I know. And I would take another look at this Nancy situation if I were you. Could I just have a little piece of that coffee cake there? For the better part of a week, I've watched my candidate fight a losing battle with depression. Now, he hasn't said anything, and I'm not sure he's even acknowledged it to himself. But I do know that when I showed up yesterday afternoon with little John, I saw Frank grin. He enjoyed the motorcade, and it wasn't until he had to bring him here back last night that the clouds started to gather again. Well, that doesn't surprise me at all, but Frank isn't letting down in terms of effort, is he? No. No, but he's not enjoying the effort, Johnny. Not the way he used to. So, I have a plan. All right, let's hear it. I think part of Frank's problem is simple fatigue. So I want to take off for 36 hours, pack up little John in his swimsuit, and take him and his father on my jet to Palm Beach this afternoon. No politicking, no phones, no demands, just good, fun, father and son stuff. What do you think? I think it's a terrific idea. Would Maeve object? Well, I think she'd think it was as good an idea as I do, only she's not here and we don't have time to ask her. What about Delia? I know she was upset yesterday afternoon, but truly, we did take good care of him, and he loved it, and I think he'd love this even more. Well, of course he would. He'd have a ball. If you're asking my permission to take little John on a trip, to be with his daddy, I, you got it. Thank you. He hasn't gone to nursery school yet. Why not do this? I go up, get him dressed, pack a quick bag. Sensational. And don't worry if you forget anything. We'll buy it all for him down there. All right. You know, Frank's real problem isn't fatigue or lack of contact with his son, don't you? I know that. <sighs> so begins another day of married life. And... <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> ah, why did I wait so long? Well, no, it wasn't my fault, was it? I certainly <laughs> tried to tell you all about it. Yeah, you certainly did. However, you arrived at your own conclusions in your own mysterious way, and I'm certainly not going to criticize that. Mm, good. Mm. Now, what should we do the rest of the day? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know. We'll, um... We'll go shopping. Oh, terrific. Then we'll come back here, no, 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 and get Edmund and go to the park for lunch. Not bad, not bad. Then we leave Edmund with Miriam and then we go dance around the fountain at the plaza. Oh, the plaza. I love it. I love you. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Here we are. John Ryan, if there's one thing I like, it's a man who's a fast packer. Would you take a ride with me in my airplane? Yeah. Atta boy. All right. Give Grandpa a little hug. You go get your father, take him to the airport, tell him I say to have some fun. Ah, give me a hug. Come on. Atta boy. <laughs> ah. And you have a good time, sweetie. Oh, he will. Thank you, Johnny. You take my hand, please? You know, I think Mr. Walter Brown, who is the pilot on our plane, might just possibly be persuaded to let you go into the cockpit and you could look out from the front of the plane window. Do you think you would enjoy that? Huh? Yeah, really? Sure he would. Good. I'm so glad. Hello, Dee. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Mrs. Woodard. Honey, want to come with Mommy to the park? Hmm? Uh, yeah, it's too bad. Uh, Dee, he has other plans. What do you mean he has other plans? Well, I'm sure you realize that the past few weeks of campaigning have been terribly tiring for Frank. He's under constant pressure. Oh, sure. So we are going to fly down to Florida in my private plane this afternoon for 36 hours of rest and sun. Your plane? Yes, and Frank would like little John to come along, and Johnny has very kindly given us his permission, so that's what we're going to do. See, he's all set and ready to go, packed and everything. Look, Dee, oh, they'll be back tomorrow afternoon, and you can take little John to the park any time after that, okay? Look, Johnny, I don't have my own jet plane, at least not yet anyway. But what I do have is a mother's love. <laughs> well, for heaven's sakes, it's only a day and a half, and I promise you, he'll have a marvelous time. You don't seem to understand anything. 
He came out of my body, and when he was born, I realized that he was the most special thing to me in the whole Look, world. Dee, nobody's questioning that, for heaven's sake. It's going to be an exciting trip, Delia. No, He'll it enjoy isn't. No, it isn't. Why not? Because you're not taking him because he wants to go, or because you want him, or even because of Frank, you're just using him. I don't know why Maeve and Johnny just don't see that. Delia, but... Aren't we getting things just a little bit out of perspective, hmm? Well, aren't we being a little hoity-toity? Johnny, I really think we ought to be on our way, don't you? Okay, <laughs> terrific idea. Don't you dare take my son with you. Now, I'm his mother, and I think I have some rights. Delia, you're making a big fuss over something that won't hurt anybody, and it might be wonderful for little Johnny. Don't you Frank? understand? She's just trying to impress Frank. That's all she's trying to do, and she's using my son to do it. If taking him to a beautiful white beach and letting him play in the ocean is using him, then I certainly well, do exactly wish... that's exactly what you're doing. That's I exactly don't know what, what you're, you're talking about. What's going on out here? It sounds like you need a referee. Maybe what it is taking my son off someplace to get sunburned and he could get bitten by some horrible thing. Frank and, and Ray are taking 36 hours in Palm Beach and they've invited himself. Oh, it's terrific. Little John was the time of his life. Right. Need a babysitter? No, I'm afraid we need you in the office a little bit more. Oh, rats. None of you understands. This isn't just a trip. Oh. Listen, you talk to Frank about that when he gets back. You tell him all your suspicions about me and I'm sure he'll make you feel much, much better. Look, Dee, why would, would Pat and Siobhan and I say it was a she's good go, idea going. if nobody's she's gonna going to get hurt goodbye, by this? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Let, everybody. Let John have a good time, sweetheart. He's going to have a say long time. Oh, goodbye, Ray. Oh, goodbye. Come on, dear. I don't, I don't believe this. Mother and, mother and I have custody, Dee. The court entrusted little John to them because the judge had confidence in their decisions. So there's nothing you can do. And uh, frankly, I don't think there's anything you should do. That's how much you know. There's a lot that I can do, and there's a lot that I'm going to do. They'll be home tomorrow. That is not the point. I'll take it to court if I have to. I'll sue, but I'm never turning over to my baby to Frank and Ray Woodard. Trip, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you and I and Ray. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> Where are we going? Where? To the beach. To the beach. Which way to the beach? Won't it won't it be cold this time of year? No. 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 Why? Where is this beach? Florida. 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 <laughs> How are we getting to Florida? <laughs> How about that, huh? Hey, listen, if you really are game for this madness, all I have to do is call Bob and we cancel everything between now and tomorrow night. That sounds great. Thank you. Good. Call the airport and tell them to expect us in 45 minutes. Ray, uh, I know what you're trying to do and I appreciate it. Today. 
What if you could change your past? Erica does every...